Okay, so this is part 42 of my Community Site series, um, and we're getting pretty close to completing our ad video section. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, so inside of our if statement right here, what we're going to do is we're going to do our rows. Uh, oh, sorry. We're going to do the rows, um, and then MySQL underscore fetch underscore sock. Um, and the reason we're going to do this is, so we've already checked to make sure it's been added to the database, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab the video ID so we can directly link to the video um, on the website, on uh, our website, so we can directly link to it um, after it's been added. So it'll be kind of nice. So we're going to say ID equals dollar sign row, and then our brackets, and inside we have ID. And then we're just going to have our echo statement, and that's going to say your video has been added. Click here to view it, I guess. And this we will just make as a link. Oops. So a href equals. Now this um, we're gonna say gonna be our site, and then we want it to be videos question mark ID equals, and then our ID variable that we got. Um, so that'll pretty much take care of that, um, and that pretty much concludes the add video section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload it, and if I refresh. Everything looks pretty good. Um, now, one thing I haven't said yet is um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so our video ID has a max length of 20. So you can't just like paste in a URL. Um, so that's what most people will try to do. So you won't be able to just paste in a URL. And also, we're going to make sure a valid category has been added or selected rather. So, yeah. Um, <coughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up a little bit and what I'm going to do is where we have all of our options here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it, I'm actually going to cut them out, I'm going to put a line here and put a variable called categories and I'm going to scroll all the way up to right before the form and I'm going to say categories equals and I'm going to paste in are options. Uh, and you might be thinking, why are you doing that? Now this is just going to make it so we can check to make sure a valid um, category has been entered. Um, so it's pretty much just making our lives easier. Um, so after we check for our video ID, I'm going to put in another if statement. Say if um, dollar sign category um, and I'm actually going to put this inside of a function. So we're going to use the str str function, if I can spell it right, str str. So what this is going to allow us to do is to check to see if a variable is inside of another variable, or another string rather. So our first one is what we're looking through, so this needs to be categories, if I spelled that right, and I didn't, so right there. And then after that, we want to put our category variable. Um, but I'm going to put it inside of quotation marks. And I'm going to say option um, value equals category. And then we're going to have our category. And then end option. So that's going to make it a little bit harder and pretty much impossible to fool. So as long as you it's spelled properly up here, um, then it'll be good. So that makes it so we do that. Now we have to put in the other side of this. So we put it in our bracket there. And then right here, we want to put in our end bracket and then our else and our echo. You did not submit 
a valid category. I don't know. And then we'll have our form. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to indent all of this. There we go. So that makes it so the user can't submit um, uh, an invalid category. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to scroll up to our video ID and right before our style I'm going to say max length length there we go equals and I'm going to set this to 20 so our max length is going to be 20 characters so if we upload it and refresh the page let's refresh it one more time so we have our title and everything it can be entered blah 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 keywords blah 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 select one category and our video ID I'm gonna type this in um, one two three four five six seven eight nine zero I'm gonna copy it paste it and I keep pasting it typing typing stuff it'll only go up to 20 characters so that'll hopefully make it so people will notice that they can't just paste in the URL um, but still people will try to just paste in the URL and hit the submit button so what we're going to do is right here, I'm going to put in a break tag. And down here, I'm going to say, um, um, not the entire, oops, not the entire URL, just the video ID and then for extra emphasis we'll just put on some exclamation marks and then I'm gonna put another break tag and we'll go down another line and I'm gonna put in font tags actually not yet um, I'm just gonna pause the video and grab a random video of mine okay so I've got a video URL here um, and where we have our ID right here I'm gonna put font tags around it and I'm gonna say color equals uh, red and then let's upload it to see what it looks like we refresh we now have that so not the entire URL just the video ID and then just like that so it makes it a little bit nicer and easier to and also to help those people that aren't very bright to be able to know that they're not supposed to put in the entire URL just the part in red so actually let's put that um, just the part in red put red in caps upload <clears throat> so just the part in red okay so that pretty much uh, concludes our form um, making it so we can add it add something to the database um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and um, grab all the information for one of my videos and then uh, we'll submit it and see what happens okay so I've pasted everything in and this is everything according to my um, according to my edit video so I'm gonna click add and you cannot add a video that is already in the database okay so obviously a problem has occurred so let's scroll down um, if numros does not equal zero that should be equal zeros whatever we need to make that if it equals if it does not equal zero or if it equals equals zero re-upload and we'll refresh and resend and so we're getting a problem here with our num rows um, okay I know what the problem is and the problem is that our query is bad because we can't set it up like that so let's say let's go ahead and create the query mysql underscore query so let's say select all from videos where 
user id un, user underscore id equals dollar sign user id um, and uh, title equals title and uh, video id equals whoops equals um, video id so that'll make it so we can actually check to make sure it's valid so let's go ahead and refresh resend uh, you cannot add the video starting the database so it's possible that it did add yeah so it added it to the database uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the database and refresh resend your video has been added click here to view it um, so an ID has not been set so that's kinda of, kinda of bad um, and let's see if it's been set in the database okay so ID is set in the database but we're not getting it properly so that's obviously problematic so um, oh, that's why because we have rows as um, singular and plural problem fix it um, I'm gonna empty the database again whoa don't wanna drop it empty okay and there we go so let's refresh resend video has been added and we have an ID now so if we click it open it in a new tab um, it, obviously it's not showing anything because we haven't set up that part of it um, so I'm gonna stop this video here and uh, what we're gonna work on next is actually styling the videos page where it will show uh, where it will show all the videos and uh, make it look nice and everything and then being able to actually display individual videos and make that look nice as well so the source code for part 42 I think this is um, will be updated till here uh, also the SQL file will be added so uh,